Chatsy and UI has quickly become one of my favorite UI libraries of all time, at least for anything that involves React, mainly because of the zero to little abstraction philosophy behind it. You know, it doesn't try to hide any code from you, it's all there, stylable with Tailwind, and I just think that's great. A couple days ago, there was a pretty big update. Five new components, admittedly some more interesting than others. Number one is the carousel, and take a look at how nice this API is to work with. In our carousel, we can simply add a previous and a next button, that's it, and then we can define the carousel content. For example, let's just have five empty slides for now by mapping over an array, and for each slide, we're simply gonna insert the page number. And just that gives us this beautiful carousel right here. And carousels are so important. I've had them come up during freelance work. Clients love carousels. I've had them come up during the recent e-commerce project that we did on the channel. Carousels are super important in so many cases. People love them, especially if you do freelance work or whatever. This component will save you so much time. You can use your mouse to drag it over and it does have some momentum. So it will go faster if we switch between slides and it has all that built in. Really, really nice component. Second one is the drawer. Take a look at this API as well. We need two things. This is the most basic implementation you could possibly do with a trigger. In our case, that's a button and also the content that will be shown inside of the drawer. Now, this is mostly meant for mobile. It looks so nice on mobile devices and we can simply define something like a header. This header contains our title and or description and we can place any content that we could possibly want, any React component, anything you can imagine inside of this drawer and then close it off, for example, with a footer that has a button that allows us to close the drawer um, whenever we're done. But the important thing is we do not have to use this closing button. That's why it feels so nice on mobile. We can simply swipe it down and this is momentum based. If I just drag it a little bit, this drawer won't close. But if we go fast, then this drawer will actually close, making it feel super native on mobile devices. That's what it's meant for. Desktop, yes, you can. Mobile devices, this really excels. And yeah, I did change the content up a bit. This is the default stuff that comes with from the documentation once you install it and how nice nice does this look? The last one I think is great is the resizable. This is component number three that's new and this would have been so useful at work like a month ago. Now that project isn't built in React but if it was this would have been exactly what I needed. I had to kind of implement this myself in a weird way and this just works. Essentially we can use our mouse to resize these areas inside of a grid. The direction is determined by this direction prop we can pass on to the main component and we can choose between horizontal and you can probably guess it vertical in a fully type safe way. Not only that, but we can have the resizable panels individually and then control where the handles are shown by simply inserting the resizable handle component that we can import at the very top from our UI library. Yeah, dude, this is this is really nice. That's exactly what I needed like a month ago at work and now it's in the UI library. It looks the same way as the others. That's the point I want to get to. And then there's two more components. Those two other components honestly are not too interesting. It's a pagination component that's neat but not too important I feel like and it's a toast notification component that has been a separate component for a long time and is now also included in Shadzian's UI library. If you're wondering what those toast notifications look like I probably already put them on the screen or I'm gonna put them like in the bottom right here. That's what they look like. They're pretty neat but honestly nothing groundbreaking. And that's the point I want to get to. Yes these components are not necessarily new. All of them were kind of available in their own domain like vol as the separate drawer component, Sonner as the Toast library component and you know you could just build a pagination yourself. But the main value that I see in this update, that's what I wrote in my newsletter as well, is that the styling is now unified. Shad CNUI has a very distinct style that looks super clean by default and it brings that style and unifies these five components in the same style that you can simply you know get by initializing your project via the CLI or by manually installing these components yourself. They just look great out of the box now and before you just had to kind of mash your own style into it and make it look like the rest of your UI library and now you don't have to do that anymore. That's it. I really hope you enjoyed this update, these five new components as much as I do and I wish you all the best. Happy holiday season, have a good start into the new year and then I'm gonna see you in the next video. Have a good one and bye bye.